Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. We all know 2018 is just around the corner. That means we need a New Year's Eve look. Well, don't you worry, I got you. If you wanna see how to get this New Year's Eve look, then go ahead and keep watching. I have already done my right eye and I'm gonna do my left eye and I am grabbing a glass of Chardonnay to do this tutorial because it has been one of those days where literally everything is just not going according to plan. So, if I take a few sips here and there, you know why. So, oh my god, see what I'm talking about? Take two. I'm going to go ahead and put some tape on my eye. I'm going to grab my NYX Dark Circle Corrector, and I'm going to use my finger to put it all over my face because I don't feel like finding a brush. I'm going to use my ColourPop palette, and I'm going to use this yellow tone shade right here and a fluffy Morphe brush just to set my eyes. Next, I'm going to go in with that tan shade right there and this Morphe fluffy brush. And I'm just going to start deepening up that V. Next, I'm going to grab the maroon shade right there and the same brush and just keep deepening that up. Next, I'm going in with this brown shade and that same fluffy brush. And like I always say, I wish I was doing something different, but I am not. I am just deepening up that outer V and crease. Once I've gotten those brown colors, I'm gonna steal this black shade right here from the Jaclyn Hill palette in that same fluffy brush and do the same damn thing. I'm gonna use that same trick where I leave my eye open and I start blending just to make sure that I've brought the drama up high enough. If the answer is yes and you've deepened that V up, it's time for the Stila eyeshadow. <laughs> and mine is in the shade Diamond Dust. And I'm just gonna start putting that bad boy in the inner corner. While this glitter is drying, I'm going to use my NYX Dark Circle Corrector and carve out those brows. Next, I'm going to take that dark maroon shade one more time just to blend everything together. And blend, blend, blend. So the tape is off and it's time for liquid liner. I'll be using my NYX Matte Liquid Liner in black. And I'm going to be doing it off camera because I am not as talented as other people. If you watch my channel, you know that it's time for Benefit Roller Lash and Falsies. Be right back. I am going to go ahead and prime my face with my Smashbox Color Correcting Primer. If anybody has any recommendations for another one, please let me know. I've been using this one so much just because I love it, uh, but I know that I haven't been trying new ones. And so if you have a recommendation, please send it to me and I will try it. Today I thought that I would give the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation a try. I got this in my Sephora bag, like one of my testers that they gave me. The thing is, I don't know what shade it's in and I also don't know if it's the right shade. So we will proceed with this, but don't be mean if it's the wrong shade. Deal? For foundation, I'm going to use my Beauty Blender, and I went ahead and just put that Laura Mercier foundation right on, and I'm just going to start blending it in. That is dark. So this is way darker than my skin tone. <laughs> I'm having a hard time looking at myself, but I love the finish. I love the way it applies. Oh my gosh, it looks like butter. I am absolutely obsessed, and I think that I'm going to go buy this the next time I go to Sephora. So it says that this is a 15 hour long wearing, oil free and transfer resistant liquid foundation with a matte finish and weightless medium to full coverage. I consider myself needing full coverage and this is full coverage. I wouldn't have been happy with this if it wasn't full coverage. I absolutely love this foundation. For my concealer today, I'll be using the Born This Way Concealer in Light. Because this is a New Year's look, Mama's gone a little crazy with the concealer. I haven't reached for this in a while, but I'm going for my Laura Mercier setting powder. And I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender to get that. I'm grabbing my Oaks on You contour stick from Wet n Wild to contour the face. And I'm just going to blend that. Another thing I noticed that I just want to put out there is when I was blending in this bronzer stick into my face, it was blending so seamlessly and the foundation was not moving whatsoever, which has never happened to me before. So this is a really good sign for this foundation and I'm super excited to see how it wears. To warm up the face today, I'll be using my MAC in Warm Rinse. 
and my Cream Shop bronzer brush. To make sure everything else is set, I'm grabbing my Peach Blur and my e.l.f. pointed taper brush and just powdering anywhere that we haven't yet. For highlighter day, I'll be using my MAC Global Glow. Yeah, Global Glow. And my Wet n Wild highlighter brush, or what I call my highlighter brush. I feel like this isn't giving me my New Year's like highlighter vibe, so I'm going to use my Duo Chrome from NYX in the shade Lavender Steel just to give it a little more edge. Ooh. And for my inner corner today, I'll be using Becca Moonstone. And I want a lot of pop for New Year's, so the more highlighter, the better. I know that I need to stop using Pampered by Tarte, but it's truly my favorite blush of all time. This is definitely my holy grail blush. I'm going to dip back into my double entendre palette and use some brown shades to buff out the lash line. And I'm just going to line my eyes with some Wonder Pencil from NYX and I'll be right back. For my lips today, I'm going to be starting with my Bite Beauty in the shade, holy crap, Sugar Cane. And finally for lip gloss, I'm going to be using Buxom in April just to add a little bit of peachiness to it. This is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that we can get ready together New Year's Eve, the next time you go out. This is a great just going out special event look. If anything, I hope that you learned some great tips and tricks on how to do a kind of dramatic look. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.